Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add an onboarding screen to a page or a post in your Blogger website. Now let me show you how it works. We can see that we have this button over here called Show Demo. And if I click on this button, we can see we have this onboarding screen pop-up displayed over here. And we can go ahead and click on the next step. And here we can see we have the second step displayed over here. And let's click on the next step. And here we can see we have the last step displayed over here. And if I click on finish, it is hidden. So this is how it works. And we also have a skip button. So if I click on show demo and uh, if I click on the next button and here we are on the second step. And if I click on skip, we can see that it is hidden. So this is what we're going to add in our blogger website. Now, if you want to learn how to design all of this from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript, I have videos on that. You can go ahead and check them out. I will leave the link in the description of this video. And I will also leave the link of the source code so you can just copy and paste the code to your website. Alright, so let's get started. Here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and we can add the onboarding screen inside a post or a page. Let's add it inside a new post. So let's click on new post. Now onboarding screens are basically added to services that you already have. So for example, if you have a color generator service, you can add an onboarding screen to that page so that the user can understand how your page works. But for now, I'll just show you how to add this to a new post. So here for the title, I just type our service. Now when you're adding this onboarding screen to your existing service, there may be a lot of code by default over here. So what you have to do is first of all, go to the HTML view. So you can click on this button and click on HTML view and then find the place where you want the button to be. So you want to have this button over here for the onboarding screen. So find the place in the code where you want the button to be positioned and then click over there and paste the code over there. All right, let's go to the source code and uh, here we can see this is the HTML. So you can copy and paste the HTML into your post. Now, if you want to change some of these things over here, you can go ahead and do that. So this is the text for the button. So here we can see we have this show demo text. You can change the text over here. And then if you scroll down, we can see the text for the skip button. And uh, then here we can see we have the content. So this is the heading for the first step. So you can change this to whatever you want. And you can also add your own content over here in place of this paragraph. And then here's the image. So this is an SVG file. So you can go ahead and download any SVG you want and paste it over here. If you have an image, you can just create an IMG tag and paste the link of the image over here. Now, if you are adding an IMG tag, you have to go over here to the style.css file and uh, you have to change uh, this uh, SVG to IMG so that the styles can be applied to your image. And in the same way, you have the second step. So you can change the image, the heading and this paragraph and the same for the third step. And you can add more steps by just copying this step division and pasting it down over here and changing the text. And if you want to delete one of the steps, you can just delete this uh, division of the class step. And then lastly, we have this button with the text next. And if you go back to our uh, onboarding screen and if I click on show demo and if I click on the next button, here we can see we have this finished text for the last step. So if you want to change this text, you can just go to the main.js file and uh, here if you scroll down, we can see that we have this if condition over here. You can just change this text to whatever you want. All right, let's start by copying the code. So let's go to our index.html file and uh, let's copy the HTML. So I'll just start from here and all the way till the end of the division. And let's copy this and paste it over here inside our post. All right, so that's it with the HTML. Now you can add the CSS. So for the CSS, you can just add it anywhere you want. So I'll just add it at the top. So I'll just create a style tag. And uh, let's go to our style.css file and let's copy everything from here. And uh, let's paste it over here inside the style tag. And let's scroll down and let's add the JavaScript. So I'll just add it at the end. So after the end of the HTML, I'll just create a script tag. And let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file and let's copy everything from here. And let's paste it over here and let's click on publish and confirm. 
right our post has been published so let's click on view and here we can see we have the button so let's click on this show demo button and we can see that we have the onboarding screen displayed over here but uh, here we can see that this element is being displayed over here because the overlay of our design doesn't have the correct z index so let's fix that and we also need to fix the color of this text so in our design we have black color so let's change the color and let's change the z index of the overlay so let's go back to our post and let's open this post and let's scroll down and here we can see we have the overlay so here i just add a z index and let's set it to 200 and if we scroll down we can see we have the styles for the s3 this is the heading so i just set the color of the text to white All right now let's click on update All right now let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page and let's click on show demo button and now we have the black color displayed over here and if we scroll down we can see that we have the correct z index so our onboarding screen is above all the other elements so everything looks all right let's click on the skip button and we can see that it is hidden let's click on the show demo button and let's click on the next button and everything is working all right now the last thing i will show you is how to display the onboarding screen by default when you load the page so for that let's go back to our post and let's go to the javascript and if we scroll up we can see that in our javascript we have this function with the name of init so if we call this function then our onboarding screen will be displayed so let's call the function right here so i'll just type init and let's click on update all right now let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page and here we can see that we have the onboarding screen displayed over here when the page loads and then we can click on the next buttons or click on the skip button and we can also click on this button to show the onboarding screen now if you load this page once again we can see that the onboarding screen is displayed once again now we don't want to display this onboarding screen every time the page loads so this can be distracting for the user so what we will do is we just display this onboarding screen once for a user so for that we will use local storage in the browser so for that let's go back to our javascript and let's go to the init function and here i'll just add a local storage so a local storage is basically a space in the browser where it can store some data so here i'll just type local storage dot set item and here in parentheses you have to add a key and a value pair so for the key i'll just type onboarding displayed and uh, for the value i'll just type true now let's update this and let's go back to our post and uh, first of all let me just show you the local storage so let's right click over here and click on inspect and uh, you have to go over here to application if you don't find this you can just click on this uh, button and go to application and here in application you can find the websites so our website is liveblogerofficial.blogspot.com so let's click on this website and right now we can see that we don't have any local storage displayed over here now let's refresh this page and now let's check whether the local storage is added so let's go to applications and here we can see we have this local storage called onboarding displayed and it is set to true now this data is stored in the browser with this website so even if you reload this page this data will be still there so what we can do is we can just check whether we have the local storage so let's scroll down and here instead of just calling the init function we we'll just add it inside an if condition so let's type if and uh, let's add this inside curly braces and here i'll just type local storage dot get item and here in double quotes i'll just type onboarding displayed now what we want to do is we want to display the onboarding screen only when we don't have the local storage now if you have the local storage then it means that the onboarding screen was displayed so here we have to add 
exclamation point so that this whole condition is negated. So now this init function will be called only when we don't have the onboarding displayed local storage available in the website. So let's click on update. And uh, first of all, let's uh, remove the local storage. So I'll just go over here to inspect and uh, go to application. And I'll just delete this uh, local storage. Right now, let's uh, refresh this page. And here we can see that the onboarding screen is displayed over here. Let's skip. And now let's refresh this page. And now we can see that the onboarding screen is not being displayed because we already have the local storage added to our browser. So in this way, the onboarding screen will only be displayed when the user goes to the website for the first time. And now if we click on the show demo button, we can see that the onboarding screen is displayed over here. But if we reload the page, we don't have the onboarding screen displayed. Now let's open this in an incognito window and uh, let's see whether the onboarding screen is displayed over here. So I'll just copy this. Now here I have opened this incognito window. So let's paste the link over here and let's open the website. And here we can see we have the onboarding screen displayed over here because this is the first time. And now let's reload this page. And now we don't have the onboarding screen displayed. So that's basically how you add an onboarding screen to your blogger website. Alright, so that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code and also the design video in the description of this video. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.